dead and buried. I buried my grandfather last week, a deplorable man who made the lives of everyone around him miserable. He left me with nothing but bad memories and dead. I wished him dead every day till he passed away at the overdue age of 91. I was the one that cared for him, and I was the one that found him in his bed. He was sitting up, back against the headboard. His heart had given out on the spot, killing him before he even went to sleep. His eyes just seemed to stare at me, an angry stare he often gave in life. I was left with his estate, and I made sure that his funeral would be as cheap and short as possible so that it causes little intrusion to the lives that we're obliged to attend. In ages past, my name meant something. That name died with time. However, nothing damaged the family name more than my grandfather. Spending the dwindling family coffers on a cult of artifacts and our reputation on the eccentric. With my parents' untimely death when I was young, I am the last of my line. Yet because of my grandfather, all I'm left with is a decaying estate and nearly empty coffers. Yet even after I left him rotting in the ground of a cheap grave, I could not get him out of my mind. My dreams kept bringing back his memory. I dreamed of darkness. I was laying down on my back, my arms folded on my chest. I tried to move, but found walls on either side of me and another not six inches from my face. I still remember the smell of fresh earth and rot. I could feel my arms as they rubbed together, dry, sagging, and wrinkled. I tried to scream, but my mouth was dry and my lungs refused to take air. I tried to strike out with all my limbs, but I found hard wood encompass me. When I awoke from my nightmare, I found myself on the floor of my bedroom. I felt my night terrors must have moved me out of my bed, but I could not get the dream out of my mind. I was resolved to rid myself of my grandfather once and for all. I sold every last item the man had owned, all the artifacts, all the books, and every bit of occult nonsense that he wasted his time and money on. I took any price I was given for. I did not wish to spare another thought for him. The dreams did not stop, but grow worse. I was visiting an old school friend when another dream or vision happened. Again, I was in the darkness. The smell and feel of the cage I found myself in felt more real than ever. I could feel myself. Every inch felt different. I could feel the age on me and know that this was the body of my grandfather. In desperation, I clawed at the woods in front of me. I could feel shocks of pain as my fingernails tore off my hands. When I awoke from this dream, I saw the concern on my old friend's face. He told me that in the middle of our conversation, my personality changed, that I grew agitated and tried to leave in a hurry. He said it was like I'd forgotten where I was. It was only with his skill and diplomacy that he managed to get me to sit back down for a few moments till I came out of whatever possessed me. I bid my friend an apology and left his company not a few minutes after I assured him that I was myself again. By the time I made it home, I felt a weight on my mind. I felt I understood what was befalling me. 
Even after death, my grandfather seeks to take what is mine. The horrors of my fate were not lost on me. His grave will be my grave. His rotting corpse will be the new home of my soul. Again that night, I experienced the vision I refused to sleep till it came. I could feel it coming, as if something was pulling my head and my sight away. The silence I felt that night drove me to madness, kicking and hitting as if having a tantrum. Yet it was all for naught, as I could not escape. When I awoke after, I know my time was growing shorter. It was coming soon, the final switch. I refuse to let that be the end. My grandfather will not have his victory. The switch would be soon. I have little time to prepare. This letter will be my final testimony. By the time I finish writing, I will have taken a number of medications that will put me in a deep sleep. I arranged with the last of the money in my name to be buried in the woods. I will not give the names of those who I conspire with for such a task, but I know them to be trusted as long as the money is correct. When I awake, or when Grandfather awakes, he will find that his cage is complete. I won't let him win. He will share my fate and be trapped under the earth till our corpses rot. I hope you enjoyed my story. I hope you have sweet, miserable dreams. Good night.